what it tastes like to you? Um, honestly, I have no idea what it tastes like. He said it was sherbet. Okay, that's probably why I got a nasty ass taste. Man, that's bullshit. I swear, I would, when we were, Hell we were no. We were smoking it, right? That's what we were smoking in the room, right? I said it to myself, like, this shit makes me taste nasty. He said it was sherbet, but he was like, it just, it's like red sherbet. So it tastes like red Kool Aid. Uh, like, 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 It's your boy Yadrich. Raven. And you got Raven over there. Like braided ass. But Merry Christmas to you all out there. Happy holidays to you all from the Sesh family to yours. Go ahead and grab my tripod. So I'm about to hold it right there. I every I highly suggest Niggas getting a Joby, uh, what the fuck is this shit called? Tripod. If you have this heavy ass camera, this is another reason why I'm low key starting to like my own, um, my little one. My another G day, of mo another motherfucking sesh. We are in White City right now. Nigga had dropped the blunt because I just yeah, fucking got nervous and seen these white motherfucking faces. It just it fell in the <clears throat> It did? I don't think. Man, hold this, mom. All right, so we back. Another day, another sesh. Sesh up your day. But this episode, it's going to be a hot boxing sesh. Again, we got some of this mystery pack, mystery top show. But I'm still high. It's high. Again, it's your boy Yadrich. And this is the sesh. Now, you know what? For real, for real, in this hot boxing sesh, I did want to talk about some shit. I just gave us a little hysteria. <laughs> You're right. That's exactly why I was passing it back. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Again, peep our surroundings, y'all. Like, we got so many fucking. You can't walk. No, you don't want to walk. Hell no. I mean, we could. That's what I said at the bank. 
that's scary that you take hit it once and it passed and then What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, but in this hot boxing session, we're going to talk about karma. Karma, karma, karma. In some ways, I feel like I am people's karma. When I come in, if I come in in a bad way, yeah, say something, my nigga. <laughs> I, know, you I want you to reason. say something. <laughs> say something. Matter of fact, we ain't going to talk about karma no more. Since sure wouldn't be funny. Scratch that. <laughs> we ain't even gonna talk about it no more. I ain't even gonna talk so, about it. No, I'm, <laughs> nah, we straight. You I'm good. so weak because you trying to position the camera so you can see my face. So you can watch my reactions. Nigga, I'm not stupid. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Nigga. Uh, all I, I know see, is... I was looking. I seen you. Yo ass <laughs> all of a sudden got... <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't even gonna talk about karma. But recent <laughs> events... My jacket... Hold on, let me just. Recent events at, you know, my, my last shop, you know what I'm saying, had me realize it's not karma for me, but it's going to be karma. Ooh, that's another stem. That's going to be karma for them niggas. Yeah, pass it. Let me get it. I'm just going to. Clear that shit out. But it's going to be karma for them. It's going to hurt because. Scratch that. We're going to start this over. So pretty much in this hot box and says, if you had some fucked up shit happen to you, bro, and you are, you are OK with it and you sitting there trying to figure out why are you so content? Why are you so like OK with it? Even though in some some people's reality, it could be. A fucking tragic event. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? You losing your job or being forced to quit your job right before Christmas, right before the new year? For some people, that would be, like, crazy, right? But despite some fucked up shit happening to you or me, you're just content about it. I'm here to tell you, don't beat yourself up trying to figure out why you're so okay or why you're content about it when anybody else or any, in any other situation or any time else you would have been tripping don't try to figure out just go with it because that usually means your time that you spent wherever it could be in college a job a career path i'm definitely steaming it was just done. You know what I'm saying? So if you find yourself in a situation where you're jobless or you got a cutoff notice or something and you are okay with it, like you're not tripping, don't try to figure it out. Don't lose sleep over that shit. Last couple of nights I've been trying to figure out why the hell I'm so content with the shit. Knowing it was some fucked up shit that literally happened. But I'm like, mm, fuck it. And it can't, don't say it's weed. Because I was sober as fuck. But I was straight. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to figure out. Because that just means. It's like with karma. They going to get theirs. But that means you got something better coming to you. You feel me? And being 31. I'm not going to say I've always gotten this lesson. That's what's crazy about this whole fucking thing and so i need y'all niggas to really hear me out and listen i didn't got this test over and over and <coughs> over and over again shout it and kept failing it mom like i'm trying to tell you all those resistant arrests and all them dumb little shit on my background all from jobs where i was flipping out like what who done huh i went back and sat at the desk thank you for calling qor You laughing. I'm dead ass serious. I went back and... I don't believe you. Who your head said it? Oh, right there. We ain't in your car. Thank you for calling QR. They they looking at me like, sir, we're going to need you to leave. <laughs> you got to drag me out this bitch today. You know what I'm saying? Like, really tripping about being fired or being forced to be let go or take part-time or some other shit. It's like, 
Back in the day, I was tripping about shit like that, bro. Now it's like, hmm. Okay. Merry Christmas. That one nigga had a little pep in his step. Right, like he was mad. Like he he ready to call somebody. <laughs> we all over here investigating shit. Right. So he bar, he take this shit. It's another thing. Retirement. A lot of people got retirement confused. You are not technically retired until you 100% can take care of all of your bills and whatever emergencies come up with all of your money, whatever business or whatever savings That's or or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was over there though. That big block bitch over there with that damn shit over her head. Oh, she heard me. Oh, she heard me. That big block bitch over there. You probably could smell the weed outside the car. Her ass was on over there already. And now this person that came over there and she's staring dead in my face. Man, we might have to leave, Charlie. I'm about to dip. And keep the camera rolling. I'm about to go to another no, spot. Wait. I'm about to go to another spot. You won't let down. I'm about to roll another joint. We got red light. I might switch to the other can since it got way better night night shooting. Go back to the other spot. Ship lock right quick. Ship lock, get out the car. And ain't nobody over there. What the fuck was we talking about in this vlog? But yeah, like I said, don't trip if other shit happened to you and you can clearly see it's been like plotted against you, Brody. Or sus or sis, whatever. Because look, I used to, like I was saying, I used to fail this test back in the day. All the time, bro. Like, and the thing is, the way the world works, you will continue to be. It's like a cycle. You'll continue to get the same lesson you're supposed to learn over and over and over again, and it may even happen the same exact way. Like, what's crazy is this situation has happened so many times, but this is the one time I was just like, all right, cool. I got a little bit more time to, you know, figure some things out. You know what I'm saying? Versus, I'm calling my peoples from the goddamn jail. Like, yo, y'all gonna have to come get me. And the only reason was because it's like a form of rejection. You have to be able to handle bad criticism, negative criticism, positive constructive criticism. But you gotta have to also be able to handle rejection. And you know what? Maybe it's because I've been rejected so much that... I'm just like immune to the shit and now the lessons that I was failing before I'm passing and now all these blessings are finna just rain on me. Rain on me. You know what I'm saying? Don't toot no horn because I didn't say no names. I didn't drop no names. You know what I'm saying? I won't say nothing. I'm being indirect or subliminal, baby. 